Thank you, Maddie. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, and thank you, everyone, for coming down to lovely Baltimore. Uh, I uh, got to see my uh, agenda for uh, or the uh, topic that I was supposed to speak on uh, this morning when Matt informed me that I'm speaking on the future of mobile. And I'm glad you guys didn't pay an awful lot of money to attend this conference because, <laughs> as Matt pointed out, I'm nine months into the job. And so if I'm the guy here to talk about the future of mobile in a room filled with mobile experts, you really got ripped off. But <laughs> from my perspective, uh, the future of mobile arrived at 4.11 a.m. this morning when we entered into a definitive agreement uh, to acquire uh, NextAge, uh, what we feel is the leading uh, SSP in exchange uh, in the uh, marketplace. So we are absolutely thrilled to be able to officially announce uh, this uh, uh, merger with uh, uh, this room here. Because uh, when folks, uh, we you know, went through some press this morning and talked with uh, some uh, of our favorite shareholders and analysts, and when they asked us to uh, describe uh, why, why was the uh, next age acquisition so vitally important to millennial? Uh, I just look at this room and, and, and this is the answer. It really is uh, to help our supply side partners, to help our developers, to help our publishers. Uh, I spent my career until I got into ad tech, which man, what a mistake that was. But I spent my <laughs> career on the publisher side. And so I've always had a huge affinity uh, for the uh, understanding and the challenges uh, in, in the good work that publishers do in terms of monetization. And uh, that's the big appeal to Millennial. Uh, this is a company with a singular focus of so 600 folks that wake up every morning with a very simple task in life, and that is how can we uh, make more money for our publishing partners? And I think the next age piece of the puzzle is a very, very important piece for us and for you. Uh, so what does that do for us and to you? I think that uh, by bringing uh, exchange and SSP capabilities in-house, it does an awful lot, uh, an awful lot of good. Uh, it's no surprise to you that the landscape has shifted dramatically over these past several years in mobile. Uh, the biggest uh, shift is uh, consumer usage of mobile, so your inventory is going through the roof, which is a great thing, but that also requires more and more sources of uh, monetization. And so the landscape of buyers has also shifted. Uh, when we started the company, we, I should say, when some of these great people started the company uh, uh, several years back, it was a relatively simple proposition. You know, mobile inventory was uh, scattered around. There wasn't any big, huge pockets of it. So if a company was able to go around and kind of tin cup and get a bunch of mobile inventory and put it in one package for an ad buyer and then added expertise and knowledge about mobile because it was so nascent, that was a, a great way to stimulate demand into mobile. And it frankly was a, 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 a way to put ourselves millennial in a powerhouse position servicing those kind of insertion order based brand advertising buyers. Uh, obviously in the last three years things have dramatically changed from a buyer landscape and you have more and more buyers that are entering in which is a good thing because that brings more demand but these buyers are uh, wanting to buy in different uh, fashions. Not all of them want to just work through a singular network Many of them want to plug into uh, an exchange uh, and, and buy, whether it's real time or buy in a direct deal fashion or buy off of private exchanges. And so it only gets more complicated from the developer side. And so the goal of Millennial is to figure out a way so that we can harness the world's demand and bring it to our developer partners. That was my emphasis. Uh, Bring it to our developing, uh, the developer community and make it in a simple, easy, state-of-the-art uh, way to make the most uh, amount of money possible. And so I believe strongly, we all do as a team, that NextAge gives us those capabilities. That it's a state-of-the-art SSP where if you so chose, it would be the only uh, tool that you would need to uh, monitor all of your uh, ad demand. And it plugs into a state-of-the-art exchange that has compiled all the leading mobile DSPs, in addition has very sophisticated mediation capabilities on the network side, and is plugged into uh, uh, 20, 30, 50, 70 mobile ad networks, so that it really is harnessing all the demand in one location through one dashboard. 
And so that really was the vision as we set off uh, to end the year in 2014 as Millennial. We wanted to be that company. We wanted to be perceived as that company. And we're just elated uh, that uh, NextAge shared that vision with us. So combined with their technology and the platform capabilities they give us, along with our, uh, our strong network business, we think the two combination puts us in a really unique position and therefore uh, uh, allows you, as our developing community and our publishing partners, uh, increase the monetization capabilities. So I'm delighted uh, to answer any questions you may have about the deal. I know it's fresh off the presses. Uh, I'll even answer our own people's uh, <laughs> from Millennial, their questions as well. But uh, uh, before we just get into that, just wanted to thank you again for coming to Baltimore. We emphasize how very important you are to Millennial. I hope you feel that way and uh, now delighted to take any questions at all. Someone's got to ask a question. It just makes me feel bad up here. <clears throat> Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> they're, they're, I think it's over for them and Jeter. Hi, <laughs> well, that's the first one. Bill Blue from Keek. Just joined up with you guys a few weeks ago. It's a good week today. <laughs> um, when you look at the future formats that are evolving outside of the standard, you know, IEB banners and the video formats that exist now. Um, does this new platform that you guys have acquired um, have what's being, I guess, referred to now as the custom native capabilities for both the marketplace and the ad server? Or is that on the roadmap? No, yeah. So uh, uh, we made a point of calling out in some of the discussions this morning uh, about some of the uh, units that uh, are on the NextAge platform, uh, particularly in the video and in, in, in rich uh, media format area. So that's more of a you know video not being necessarily native per se, but obviously a, a, a big area uh, in terms of high CPMs and high fill uh, and rich media capabilities, which aren't often found on exchanges, right? Uh, usually it's the lowest common denominator banner being whipped back and forth for pennies. And so that is a big area of emphasis for us. We uh, started to embark upon that. Uh, as you know, presently we uh, run an exchange and partner with that Nexus on that. It's a terrific partnership, and it's something that we have been working on. Of course, native, you know, as you look at the vast array of developers and the types of inventory they have, I think most people jump to the conclusion that native is a newsfeed ad unit, which in large part has become associated with native. However, it's not always uh, applicable for every uh, environment in terms of a publishing environment. And so, you know, as we start to look at the key verticals that we have, what might be native for, uh, uh, for those uh, uh, publishers and developers and, and bringing those uh, capabilities both uh, onto the network and, and onto the exchange. So yeah, I think we all share the belief that uh, there has to be more to, to life in mobile than just that little banner. And uh, we're going to be on the forefront of pushing innovation there uh, from a programmatic and from a network standpoint. I think when we saw the consolidation between Jump Pack and the transition was fairly simple because the, the, uh, the two companies in itself are very similar ad networks. But now that we're dealing with an SSP and predominantly an ad network, uh, and as a customer of both companies, how does that impact publishers that have used NextAge as an SSP with multiple data sources? And now Millennial was a good chunk and a good demand source, but if we're going to funnel dollars coming in now, how do we have a publisher? How do we start streaming the revenue? Do we take NextAge out and use Millennial or have Millennial go through NextAge? Yeah, so great question, and obviously many of these things will be worked out as the integration goes forward. Uh, just for point of background, the deal will uh, more than likely close. It goes under government review and, and more than likely close by the end of the year. And in the interim, we'll be talking as a team about uh, integration points just like that. 
Um, listen, the, the simple answer is uh, we want to make it more simple. We want to make it easier. We want to make it one touch for you. And the idea is that we're harnessing our demand along with all of NextAge's demand and putting it together so that, in the end of the day, every impression that you show is getting a higher yield and you're getting more revenue. So I think that it, if, if in any scenario you, you walked through, you perceive that you might get less revenue from that, that would not obviously be the desired outcome. So if we were to sacrifice simplicity for more revenue for you, we'd be happy to do that. Just like oftentimes you might run a network outside of the SSP because you could uh, cut a, a, a strong deal direct with them. I mean, I would imagine Millennial as a network may be in that position, but ultimately I think the real power of it is Millennial being mediated through next age so that you have all the demand and you just don't have to worry about uh, uh, all the different integration points. Does that help answer the question? Yeah. <laughs> so in other words, he's being very polite. That doesn't answer the question at all. <laughs> You're going to have to talk to someone smarter. <laughs> there was one question right behind you. Okay, great. Well, listen, I know you have a conference and a full day ahead of you, so uh, I wish I could s spend some time with you. Uh, unfortunately, I'm jumping up to uh, Boston to talk to our folks up there and the Next Age team. Uh, after I talked to Baltimore this morning. But thanks again for coming to Baltimore. We really greatly appreciate uh, our business partnerships and have some fun tonight. Bye.